rapper to rewrite history without a pen. No ID on the track, let the story begin. 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 This is Where are you from? I'm from Malawi, Africa. Where are you from? Woo! I missed signing up for um, a sporting event, which kind of sucks, but I get to carry my flag. Got my bling. Giant Canadian ring. Also made in China. Whenever going home, whenever going home, if we do it ain't alone. Staying out until the morning, on and on, like whenever. It's been a on. long weekend, I'm ready for the weekend. Been busy trying to ball and feel I'm falling off the deep end. And I don't ever sleep in, so I ain't sleeping. I'm about to be in rare form for the eve. Man, my phone's getting blown all day by a bunch of unknowns. Go they snatched the Canadian flag for a pose. Everybody loves Canada. <laughs> I found another Canadian. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Oh, <laughs> Jao Pierre. This dude's from Quebec. <laughs> Quebecois. Quebecois. Wave it, Pierre. Wave it. Yeah. You know, everybody in the world, the dream of Canada. Whenever going home. If we do, it ain't alone. Never going home, no, no, never going home. If we do it ain't alone, stay out until the morning. But who has the whistle? The quintessential Asian schoolgirl. I wanna know what the one guy is doing there. <laughs> Probably pretty pleased with himself. Got a long ways to go yet. Is that Mexican music? The army's coming. That was my first ever Chinese track meet. Pretty elite, I must say. I kept thinking like, if only the Crescent Heights track team were there, there would not be a single bronze or silver medal won that day. But there would be quite a lot of gold. They didn't have pole vault though. That's the event that I did in high school. It was fun. I got a flaunt some Canadian pride. I met Pierre. I got a sweet shirt. I'd say, all in all, it was a day well spent. It's also only noon, so. <sighs> so that was track. I was gonna stay and watch some events, but then, well, then I got hungry, so. Maybe next year. The important thing is I found another Canadian. Oh, Jao Pierre! Now he's from Quebec, and I won't hold it against him because he seems like a nice guy, even though his name is like the quintessential Quebecois man. Pierre. Cool guy. He's a little, um, he's a little slow on picking up social cues. There was this girl that we were talking to from the Ukraine and Pierre kind of manufactured a really, really awkward moment. Oh, Ukraine. Good thing you got out of there. Conditions are terrible right now, right? I think it was just like, like a little offside, especially for somebody that you don't know at all like that was that was literally the first thing he ever said to this girl and probably the last thing he will ever say to that girl oh pierre anyways we were standing in line and he was telling me about himself and it was kind of interesting he has 
one son in Vancouver who makes special effects for movies. He has another son in Quebec who is a professional uh, carpenter. And Pierre himself is in China. He's living with some um, Chinese lady that he met. She cooks for him and does the laundry. And Pierre, which is why I didn't ask about Pierre's wife. But we got to talking. It was kind of interesting, honestly. He told me from 0 to 20, 0 to 21, you live off your parents. From 20-ish to about 60, you work and you make money. And then from 60 onwards, you spend the money. So this guy has been traveling all over the place. He's been to Mexico, uh, South America. He's fluent in English and French. Or French, no kidding, he's from Quebec. Spanish too, which I found interesting. He traveled through South America and he picked up the language just talking to people. And now he's learning Chinese. So he's like 60 something, but we're in the same like grade level. He literally told me that he was in China just for fun. Like he's just he's just doing what he wants now. It's cool to see because not a lot of people get to that point in their life where they can just spend all of their time doing what they enjoy. Everybody's always, you know, waiting for something or saving money or trying to get out of debt or, you know, any number of things. And in walks Pierre making culturally inappropriate comments but loving every minute of his life. It's interesting. His philosophy, the whole 0 to 20, 20 to 60, blah blah blah. What do you think? <laughs>